Meanwhile, we keep creating data. Into this traditional world of data storage and exploration, we've now added a new layer that we'll call semi-structured data. Semi-structured data is coming from a variety of sources like smartphones, websites, RFID tags, video and audio files, web logs, and Twitter feeds. We used to think of analysis in terms of results. Did someone buy something? Now we're interested in following the process of a customer and what they did and where they went before they bought or didn't buy. There is a lot of interesting insight that can be generated from this level of analysis. Since it's not feasible to add more and more data to an expensive data warehouse environment, we now have Hadoop, which is an industry standard system on less expensive hardware and not the highly structured world of data warehouses. In this environment, we can store a lot of data cheaply. Data warehouses store in terabytes up to petabytes. Hadoop is in petabytes and quickly moving to exabytes and beyond. That means we can store even more data more easily. But the big question is, how do we analyze it? And one answer is through machine learning. We still use statistics for analysis, but now we're starting to use other methods, including sophisticated machine learning algorithms. We hear the phrase big data a lot these days, and that's the world of Hadoop. New ways of storing and new ways of analyzing data. And that's where most people's big data picture stops. Microsoft doesn't stop there, but let's pause here for a moment to clarify. The world of data has grown from structured data to include semi-structured data, and apps and devices are creating both. Structured data goes to data warehouses and has been traditionally analyzed by humans. With semi-structured data, we leave the analysis of known knowns. Now we have unknown data and unknown questions, which require machine learning, predictive analytics, and data mining. With more and more data being created, and so much insight remaining hidden, it's no wonder that companies are seeking help to understand both worlds of data. And wouldn't it be great if we could relate those two separate and immense stores of data to each other and to mine both for further insights? To actually be able to not only analyze the past, but predict likely outcomes? When we have as much information as possible, instead of asking questions, we can let the data guide us. For us at Microsoft, that's exciting. Because we have a technology called Polybase that allows you to seek information in both big data storage and data warehouses, structured or semi-structured. Polybase doesn't care how big or complicated your data environment is. It just goes and finds the information you need using the methods you already know. Now the potential information that we get out of this data that we didn't previously know we had is much more valuable than the cost of storage.